is Corey progressing? Uh, he looks great. Yeah, no, we, we didn't do uh, anything competitively today. Just um, today wasn't the day with the density of our schedule. Um, but you know, as far as I know, as of now, he, he should be available tomorrow. Did you meet? Did, has he had a full practice day with you guys? Where you've actually not just been shooting around or gone light? Uh, well, he's, he's practiced with the GoGo on several occasions, um, and he was able to you know be a partial participant. But if you've seen our schedule, we really haven't had a, a ton of practice time. You know. In this window, um, I wanted to ask about. You said the other night that um, AG you liked how he moved in space, and that's why you wanted to start him. Uh -huh. Do you? I'm assuming there are more components, obviously, that you're not sharing with us that went into that. But why did you consider Will for that starting starting spot? Yeah, um, and we, we we've had Will in the in the starting group in the preseason, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of that was because you know guys were out, but also just to see you know those pairings if we liked it. Um, I felt comfortable, and I, and I told Will that. Um, I thought his fit with that second group, you know, his ability to play make and play pick and roll, um, you know, be in a um, facilitating role as a point guard. He's, he's done it. He's got a comfortable uh, comfortability with it. And I, I feel comfortable with the, in him in that second unit, just kind of, you know, on and off the ball, but kind of quarterbacking offense. Um, I got to watch the broadcast last night, and I didn't realize how much Denny talks to the refs. <laughs> as, as Josh brought up, I know that's, that's kind of more of a Eurobasket thing. And that's of how European players can be. Is that something he has to learn to tamp down still, though, in the NBA? Or? I, well, it's not having those conversations that, that concerns me. It's how do you respond, you know, to those conversations. Um, there are going to be some nights you're not going to get the calls you think you deserve or you may not get the benefit of the whistle. Um, it's okay to ask the questions, you know, what was the play or, you know, why was this a foul or what did I do? But once that explanation is given, move on. How nice will it be to have Corey given the struggle shooting three? Well, you're putting a lot on Corey, but <laughs> either way, having back is, I think, is going to help us. Uh, that's what he does, I think. And even if he's not making shots, the defenses are going to key in on him as a shooter. So that does add another guy out there that gives you space and allows room for other guys to play. 68 points yesterday. How do you think you can be as intentional in the attack of the paint tomorrow against Brooklyn? Well, it's been one of the areas that we've excelled in all season, all preseason, is our ability to uh, put pressure on the paint, um, you know, accumulate those paint points, and it's offset some of the shooting, the three-point woes. But you know, last night, 68 in the in the paint, and getting to the line, you know, uh, as as much as we did, that really helps, you know, your balance. Um, so ideally, you know, we'll mix in more threes and and shoot it with more efficiency. But if we can continue to you know play at that pace and um, get downhill on, on, on teams, I think it still bodes in our favor. On the other end, you guys have the number one paint defense so far. How do you keep that up? Well, it's that balance. You know, yes, we're pr protecting the paint, but, you know, in our recent struggles defending the three. So just finding the balance. And you have to also take into account the opponents. You know, Philly twice, Boston, Indiana, all high-volume three-point shooting teams. So that's, that's, that's a part of it. But just an awareness and urgency when we do have those – um, those opponents, that that's their strength. So, you know, yes, we want to make sure we're protecting the paint. That's a staple for us. But we also have to honor, you know, a strength of our opponent and, and get those get those guys off the line. You didn't have Porzingis for the majority of last year. Now you've had him. How much to, of a difference does he make in that regard? Uh, a lot. You know, he's a guy who we play through quite a bit, and not just because he can pick and pop, shoot the three, um, but, but as a passer, a facilitator. And it goes back to the very similar to Corey. Teams guard him as a shooter. Anytime a big has to come up the floor, just allows so much more room, you know, behind him. So it opens up the paint. I think that's you know we've benefited from that, and uh, in the amount of paint points we're able to accumulate. Wes, how did, is the team doing? Did how did the team do last night with defense at the point of attack and trying to keep your team out of rotations? Um, it depends on the quarter. <laughs> the third quarter not so good. Fourth quarter great. Um, and that's just the challenge of trying to play as close to 48 as possible. I think we put 36 solid minutes together, um, allowed them to get loose in that third. But it's going to happen. You know, I think it's, um, it's, it's a great sign to see that the fourth quarter defense, you know, when that really the game is on the line, our guys were able to clamp down and, um, you know, we're able to you know, move in sync and cover, you know, cover each other. And I think it's – that mentality of just help, recover, um, and worst case, fly around, make a play. And I thought last night we did that in the fourth.
With the 68 paint points last night, what did you like about how you all were able to dominate that area, and how do you replicate that or try to against a team like Brooklyn? Uh, yeah, I think we did a great job of moving the ball yesterday, and uh, that created a lot of opportunity. You know, Brad got a lot of catch and goes, which is which is good. Anytime you can get Brad some easy points, it's, it's awesome for us because he is a superstar that has to work really hard for his points. Um, and our goal is always to try to make it as easy as possible. Um, we haven't been doing a great job of that, but last night was a great opportunity for him. And then also KP got it going, which is awesome for us. You know, 30 points and um, him just shooting over the top of everybody is awesome. How much can Corey help you guys? Oh man, he's going to help us tremendously. I mean, you know, anytime that you can have someone who can spread the floor like he can, and um, also he's a you know underrated defender as well. He works really hard, um, and people don't really see that a lot um, because of his ability to shoot the ball. Uh, but he works really hard on defense, and um, also just from a morale standpoint, you know, he's a, he's great to have on the court. You know, he always lifts everyone's spirits, and uh, everyone trusts him on the court. So it's going to be a good time. Who said that he looked improved in training camp before he got hurt? I know he's had to deal with this injury, but uh, what have you noticed about his game so far? Uh, just making that year two jump. You know, it's, uh, his confidence was is tremendously higher than last year. You know, in your rookie year, you're learning a lot. Um, you know, you're going through ups and downs that, you know, people don't really understand. Um, but he had a lot of confidence coming into this year. Um, I'm sure he's, it hasn't gone anywhere. You know, he knows he can play in this league and he knows he can dominate this league. So I'm really excited to see him back on the court. You know, he, he's, uh, he's got a little bit of a restriction at first, but you know, once everything is um, out in the open, I think it's gonna be really good for us. What was the um, message that Taj relayed to you guys the other night? He just told, he told us we were doing a great job. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, uh, Todd has been in this league for a long time, so has a lot of knowledge and uh, he knows when teams are slipping and we were getting comfortable, you know, at a really early stage, which is, you know, not healthy. Um, so he got on to us, um, let us know, you know, we can't play for the, the names on our back. It's got to be about the Wizards, you know, what's on the front of the jersey. Um, I agree wholeheartedly with what he said. You know, he got on to, to each and every player, which is um, much needed. And um, we were able to come in the next game and have a, a good turnaround. Is he the type of guy who will start yelling and get or was he just very no, straight? I, I think it was building up. You know, you can see him sometimes on the sidelines uh, just getting kind of antsy when we're not doing what we're supposed to do. And it was kind of a build up. Um, I saw it coming. Um, actually, he warned one of our coaches that it was about to happen. Uh, and then and he kind of he kind of blew up, which rightfully so though. Yes. <laughs> what do you remember about playing with Joe Harris in college? You have a good story. Joe Harris. Uh, no, I don't have any memory. No, I do this because <laughs> Joe is so awkward with his hands. So like, if you ever notice, maybe he's got some media training now. But if you go back into his uh, college like college days, anytime he was doing an interview or he would talk, he would just like curl up his fingers like this. And like, it would be just so funny just to watch him. We always used to give him a hard time, but I used to love playing with Joe, man. Unbelievable player, unbelievable person, most, first and foremost. And um, I'm excited to be back on the court with him tomorrow. Um, I'm happy for him also because, you know, he did have a, a rough season last year with the, the surgery and everything like that. So it's good to see him back on the court and I'm excited to be on the court with him again. And um, this is gonna come out of left field, but Yuta Watanabe also on the Nets. I know you played against him in college twice. Um, do you remember anything about those matchups? Did you guard him, and what do you think about you? Um, I think our whole team guarded him in college, yeah. and um, he ac they actually beat us. It was um, actually turning point to our season. Do you remember that, Ava? Yeah, we went there to George Washington, and they beat us, and it was not a good time. You know, Coach Bennett got really on to us at the end of the game, but uh, he had a great game, and uh, he played really well. Um, you know, unbelievable player, as you can still see, he's still in the NBA, sticking for a long time because he plays hard and he's very talented. So. It wasn't that long ago when you were still playing overseas, now obviously in the starting lineup on an NBA team. What was that moment? Did you get to celebrate with Jenna at all, anything like that, like soak it in for yourself? Uh, yes, I was definitely overseas, freezing my butt off in <laughs> Moscow, Russia. Um, but it was all worth it. You know, I'm back here in America with my family where everyone's comfortable. Um, everyone's having a great time, and I'm able to have my immediate family and my extended family come to see games. Um, but I was sitting in the bed the other night with my wife, and I was just like, I was, we were praying. We pray every night before we go to bed, and I was just like so thankful, and like just in my prayers with my wife. 
just saying like I'm so thankful that I got to even be in the NBA, let alone start in a game. If it's just one game that I ever started, that would be good enough. But um, I, I'm so excited that you know, if coach decides me to keep me in that starting lineup or changes, whatever it is, I'm excited that I just get to be on the court and help the, the guys out as much as I can.